Hello, I'm Caleb Bright for The Daily Nebraskan, and I'm here in the common area slash room for the Nebraskan 2017 anime convention. We're surrounded by a ton of awesome cosplayers, and we're here to interview and get some inside look at how these uh, costumes are created and what goes into this crazy event. I am here with Raphael, Spider Gwen, and Lady Deadpool, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, Heimdall, Carly, and Miranda from my friend Miranda's comic that she's making. It's called The Epic of Pandora. I'm Taurus. Blake Belladonna. Well, they're from the anime series uh, show from Rooster Teeth called Ruby, spelled R W B Y. Rocket Raccoon. Giffany. Giffany from. Gravity Falls. Captain America. But it's not just any old Captain America. This is the Nomad Captain America. Carrie. Viva. Spider Gwen. You guys both look great. Did you make these? Did you buy them? How'd they come together? Uh, for me, the prop here and the outfit, I pretty much bought mine online. Uh, mine personally was from an online website. I've modified the mask since then. Mine was a little more work. Um, I bought two separate suits and sewed the black one on top of the red one. The mask is fabric and then there's clay under here that gives it the expression. Purchase. Amazon. Um, it actually took about six months of putting together. Yes, I took eight and a half hours making the whole entire thing. I got this from Stella Belair. Well, I tried to pattern it after uh, the movie version, but it was hard because the movie hadn't came out till just recently. So I took what pictures I could and tried to piece everything together. So you made this? No, no, I can't take credit for that. So this started about, what year is it, 2017? About 2015, and I started with just the legs and a uh, cheap helmet. It's just been upgrades more and more to where it is currently. Have you all been here before? No, it's our first time at Anime Nebraska. First time at Omaha, too. First time in Nebraska. Nope. <laughs> oh, no, actually, it's my second time here. No, no, this is uh, my second Nebraska, but I've been to plenty of other conventions. This is actually the second time. Actually, it is. It's my first time in Nebraska as well, too. I was here once two years ago. Why did you guys choose these uh, cosplays? Uh, honestly, it was because of them. They had a character that uh, none of us really cosplayed from. We uh, all uh, kind of do our own different fandoms. Uh, for me, I just really love Deadpool in general. He's probably my favorite Marvel character. And then when I found out there was Lady Deadpool, I thought that would be more fun for me to do. Have, have y'all been in um, other uh, comic conventions before? This is our ninth con this year. We go to a whole bunch in Minnesota and Wisconsin. So I've been to all the conventions in the Iowa area, a few in Chicago and Kansas City. How do you compare uh, this uh, anime convention with other comic cons that you've been to? I, I like the atmosphere, like this hotel is fabulous, the way it's uh, created. It's a lot bigger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Nebraska kind of brings me back to the roots of when I first started cosplaying, where, you know, just uh, convention hotel, it's super easy to move around, not as busy. Definitely, it's like so exciting here. I love coming to Nebraska Con, it's like super fun, lots of nice people. The whole con itself is my, the highlight of my whole weekend. This weekend has been a blast so far and I'm really enjoying it. I've met a lot of cool people. Have you ever created a, or tried your hand at creating a cosplay? Uh, slightly once. Um, pretty big Doctor Who fan so I tried uh, buying a jacket I found at Goodwill and tailoring it myself but it didn't really work out so uh, just stick to buying stuff. How do you guys feel the NEPCON has been changing or um, anything good or bad about it? Um, I definitely feel like there should be improvements, especially with the organization. That's always been an issue for NEPCON. I feel like organization is uh, really smooth. Uh, the panels go by really fast and you wish that you had more time to see them. How do you see NEPCON changing or where do you see it kind of going towards? I see it's trying to be very, uh, there's a lot of things I see it's trying to work, especially the area, because last year it was very crowded, but this one feels much more open expand. I see they're trying to do a lot of more things so it's easier for people who live farther away to come here. So what are you guys uh, planning on doing the rest of the day, or what are you looking forward to? Just being at Con and being in the environment and the parties later. 
Uh, just some seeing the cosplays, uh, looking cool, have, and meeting people. Oh, there's so many things. I can't list them all. I'm so excited. Um, just being able to cosplay with my friends, since I haven't done that in a couple of years or so. Honestly, just uh, enjoying my time meeting new people and new cosplayers and just getting to know them. The Ruby signing. The Ruby signing. Mm -hmm. What is that? Uh, Rooster Teeth is an animation company ran in te Texas, and they have an animation called Ruby, and their voice actors are all here. Um, I have actually entered into the cosplay contest that's going on today at 5 p.m. It's the first contest I'm going in, and I'm going in as Sora. Well, I know the cosplay contest is going to be later today. Are you competing in that? I would if I had, uh, first, more confidence in myself, but second, I would possibly, if I know how to make my cosplays, I would definitely be for sure going in it. Uh, not here, no. He, uh, Rocket's not currently in a uh, contest uh, condition. Thank you very much for this interview, and I hope you have a great rest of your stay at NebraskaCon.